Hi everyone, it's been a little while since I did a video so I thought I'd come in today and show you a little bit of what I've been up to. Now I'm going to call this a painting guide and take you through the steps I took while I was painting Treebeard. It won't be a step by step guide but I'll go talk you through the colours I used and the different techniques. I got this one off um, someone on the Games Workshop trade page and when I got it it was in a bit of a state. There was super glue all over the place there were, um, I believe there were a couple of little bits missing at the back that go in the leg here but I stripped it down with acetone free nail polish remover which works absolute wonders on metal but trust me never ever put it on plastic models it stripped this slot in about five minutes flat I put a couple of plastic Urukai berserkers in there to strip as well and they melted because of course the acetone melts the plastic so after this was all cleaned up and ready to go I glued them together, pinned it in a couple of places base coated it in a grey um, I've just got the Flames of War Grenadier grey colour at the moment it's nothing fancy, I just pick up whatever I can normally um, as long as it's grey because I find white and black don't give great coverage whereas grey is in the middle you don't see the colour shining through if you use a white, that's what happens if you use white and it doesn't go too dark as it does if you use a black. So after I had primed it, I gave it 50-50 mix of these two. So this is just black, this is the Vallejo game colour black and ch chocolate brown. So 50-50 mix of these and went over the entire thing. As I was going, I slowly added in a little bit of black grey dry brushing it in places and just lightening it up a little bit. That came through with a bit of London grey as well. Effectively replacing the black with the grey shades to lighten it but keeping it dark in the recesses. After that, and after that was completely, it had a couple of, about maybe two or three layers of dry brushing on it. So it was a quite a rich dark brown with lighter parts to it. I gave it a wash of Army Painter Strong Tone. I think this is similar to the Agrax Earth shade. This might actually be stronger because I know that um, Army Painter do their Strong Tone and Dark Tone. One's like Agrax Earth, one's not. But So I used, used that and gave it a complete wash head to toe. That really brings out the little individual, the grain on his arms and his legs and makes it stand out a bit more. After that, I gave it another highlight again of the chocolate brown. And this, as you can see, this is just a very dull, boring brown colour. Adding into that more London grey. A little bit of Iraqi sand, which I think is similar to the Games Workshop Shabbaty Bone colour. As you can see, it's just a beige. I added in a very, very tiny bit of flat yellow just to give it a little bit more of a natural look and I just kept going with that just kept going until it looked right eventually I think I gave it an overall highlight of the Iraqi sand again very 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 light just to pick up the last bits once that was done I went over with um, where's the green gone game colour heavy green mixed with a bit of black on the beard and on the little bits of foliage that you can see on him and then just built, built that up really through a couple of different layers of um, the heavy green, dark green, what's that, did I use that? No I didn't use that one. Just built the layers of green up a little bit. Whenever I needed a little bit more of a highlight I would add yellow and maybe a bit of Iraqi sand. This Iraqi sand paint is brilliant because you never want to add white if you're going up a tone because that turns changes a complete and utter tone of the paint whereas that just gives it a little bit of a lift and you only need a little bit of a time so once that was done some yellow bits in there a few bits of orange in some of the plants that are on him just give it a little bit more of a different look as you can see in there he's got some fungus growing up his back so I highlighted those I did those with um, what's that just called game colour, orange fire and then over it with the yellow 
and after a couple of layers of each of them that was him done if you can see there I went in on his eyes with yellow and black his eyes are quite easy to do because they're relatively massive after that was done I did the hobbits now for these, these were very very similar colours the cloaks for the hobbits were just a dark green and they were highlighted up with the Iraqi sand the trousers for each of them were just chocolate brown and then again highlighted up with the Iraqi sand the waistcoat that you can see in here this one here it was just a mixture of yellow and Iraqi sand gave it all a wash with um, strong tone again went over with the original colours with a little bit more Iraqi sand in it and that was it it took me all in all probably about maybe two three nights to do the tricky bit was the rest now without these Treebeard looked quite bare because the only foliage he's actually got on him is the stuff which is modelled onto it so I decided to use some plant foliage from Woodland Green uh, Woodland Scenic is it? yeah Woodland Scenics now I just went on here with a little bit of super glue dabbed the super glue on and pushed the foliage into place and that kept it in place but this foliage if you can see it's not very it's not as squishy now as it was when I first put it on now because after I put it on I soaked it in watered down PVA maybe about 10 to 15 times letting it dry each time and that took about two or three days but now these are relatively solid they're not going anywhere the base was finished off layer of sand and grit then some flock tufts I've um, got some flower tufts in there some bush tufts these are from army painter the dead grass tufts and the flower tufts are from an eBay shop called war painter and then the small clump foliage that's basically it it didn't take long and it wasn't a lot of effort and he looks awesome if I do say so myself this is probably my favorite model that I've done so all in all no more than maybe 10 colours in there but we've just got to get it at the right level to make sure that it looks like wood and it's not too brown because if you look at a tree, most trees aren't brown most trees are a mix of very dark brown, black and beige really and if you consider that tree beard's meant to be how many other odd thousand years old he, it's not going to be blue blue? it's definitely not going to be blue it's going to be brown, black, brown, but that's it, so thanks for watching, just a little bit of, oh wait, hang on as well, last thing, just did my regular for the flesh, started off with, uh, I think it's called cadmium skin, flesh wash from, where's he gone, it's run off, Flesh wash from Vallejo, which is quite nice, it's red, red flesh wash. Highlight again with the cadmium skin, back over with light flesh, and then very painstakingly and slowly, which this took the longest, we paint eyes on the hobbits. Now I know that one at the top there looks freaky, it looks a little bit like Beetlejuice, but I got fed up with painting the eyes on them so that's what it's going to be like so thanks for watching and uh, speak to you soon bye